All right, Kentucky! I'm happier than a Michael Vick pound pup to be here. Happy to be speaking with such great folks. We want to congratulate Rand Paul for his efforts and his courage. I know what the lamestream media says. They say there are no blacks in the conservative movement, but they will also tell you that fat meat ain't greasy and chimpanzees make good house pets. Don't you believe them? If you've heard of a blog called The Black Sphere, then you do know who I am. I did write an Amazon best-selling book called The Big Black Lie. And the last, seriously, the last of my first editions are right over there. So if you want to get a signed copy today, let me know. And if you want to piss off a liberal, get one of my extreme takeover White House edition t-shirts that are floating around. Uh, I have appeared all over, you know, these various Fox shows, and I did do a smackdown of David Schuster. Uh, on MSNBC and what he said to me was, he says, Kevin, surely you can admit that there's a fringe of racism in the Tea Party movement and I said, no, I can't. I said, but I do know there's a fringe of racism in the Democrat Party because they have hung black people and I've never seen a black man hung at a Tea Party. I'm originally from Texas where people talk like this and that's why I love conservative southerners. People know your name and they wave when they pass each other on the back roads because that's a southern way. Yeah. Town I grew up in was small and most of my friends were good old boys. In Texas they're known as rednecks. Yeah. Uh -huh. And if Texas had hills, they'd call them hillbillies and they'd still be my friends. Uh -huh. My friends didn't care about color the same way most of America is made up of people who could care less about color. They care about character. Over the years, America has been emasculated, made politically correct, or as I would say, socially neutered. Disagree with this administration and you are a racist. Didn't vote for Obama and you are a racist. Well, aren't you equally as racist if you didn't vote for McCain? I've been telling America for years that one thing is for sure, whether you're from the North, the South, East, or the West, the only direction that is guaranteed to be racist is the left. But I know today we want to discuss the celebration of America's freedom and I will. But first, I need to discuss slavery. And I'm not talking about that old Democrat institute of slavery, institution of slavery. I'm talking about the new Democrat institution of slavery of today, where we are all slaves. And that's why I call 2010 Emancipation II. This time, even the white folks are going to get free. When you work through August to pay your taxes, you are a slave. Slaves don't get a say-so, as my grandfather would say. They simply take what Massa gives them. And America's new Massa has given us health care, something we already had, and he wants to give us clean air, something we already have. He's supposed to close the racial divide, yet we are more racially polarized than we were back in the 60s. Yeah. You want to know why Obama doesn't laugh at himself? Because that would be racist, silly. <laughs> I had a lady ask me not long ago, Kevin, do you think Obama is a racist? I said, ma'am, the man is taxing tanning. What do you think? <laughs> I swear I saw a woman go into a tanning salon the other day who looked like Ashley Judd, and she came out looking like Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> is Obama a racist? How else do you allow Black Panthers to intimidate people trying to exercise their right to vote? The irony being that instead of white Democrats wearing all white, standing in front of polling stations intimidating black voters, we had black Democrats wearing all black, standing in front of polling stations intimidating white voters. This administration wants to redistribute your wealth. They don't want to reach in your pockets, they just take off your pants. It may surprise a few of you after hearing me to, believe, to, to know that I believe in reparations. I believe that anybody alive today who has owned slaves should pay reparations and anybody who's been a slave should get them. And what about immigration? Our Justice Department wants to sue Arizona for exercising their constitutional right to protect their state from a bordering country. And ironically, the Fed's lawsuit claims that Arizona wants to do what the Fed is supposed to do but isn't doing. Like they said, I couldn't fix your brakes, but I made your horn louder. <laughs> Liberals are as worthless as a screen door on a submarine. 
And we've been on a slow journey to tyranny over the past decades, and in the last year, that pace has quickened dramatically. I heard a black man who called Hannity's show say he was a Democrat, and he was afraid when he heard Republicans say that they would like to go back to the good old days. He said, a black man, the good old days is a threat to go back to the days of slavery. And I said, this poor guy was uninformed because he should be afraid of Democrats. So I'd like to paint a picture of what conservatives look like, look back when they think about the good old days. I'm going to take you back to my childhood. I remember as a child ripping and running up and down the streets of San Antonio, Texas. I don't remember one child being abducted or molested in our neighborhood. We played outside from sunup to sundown during the summer. And the only thing that interrupted our fun was either lack of light or the sound of one of our mothers yelling supper. When we finally went inside, we sat down to a meal as a family. And in my family, we ate together and we prayed before every meal. After dinner, we'd either watch TV, which for this country boy meant a choice between three fuzzy channels and we watched the one that was the clearest. Shows like Happy Days, Little House on the Prairie, The Jeffersons, Sanford and Son, The Andy Griffith Show. I'll admit publicly, I did some picking and grinning and I watched Hee Haw, but only for the chicks. Anybody remember Petticoat Junction, My Three Sons, Green Acres, Father Knows Best? We took vacations even though we were poor, and yes, we were poor. I did mention I'm black, right? We were so poor, the electric company came one day and blew out the candles. But we didn't know we were poor because we were so rich. Rich with vision, rich with passion, and rich with opportunity. So each year we loaded up that Chevy Impala and we took off on vacation and I chuckle when I think of all the hoopla over secondhand smoke because my grandfather smoked like a chimney. And on our road trips, our only reprieve from his habit was when he cracked the window about a half an inch to let some of the smoke out. And our car looked like either a mobile nightclub or an extra in a Cheech and Chong movie. We usually visited family in other cities and we didn't bring anything with us because black people don't bring anything but our appetites. But we were always good to make a chicken run once we got there. We played spades, bid whist, dominoes, and caught up on all that we had missed in between bonding with our family. There were no victims in those conversations. The conversations were all about education, hard work, diligence, and perseverance. At my school, almost everybody had a rifle in their truck on a gun rack. We called them pickups. And there was not one shooting in my school in my entire childhood. And by the way, that was when God was in the schools. In my day, we honored our military. And it still brings tears to my eyes when I see an old World War II vet in the park or wherever I might see one, and I make it a point to go over and shake his hand and thank him for his sacrifice. Does anybody remember when terrorists were called terrorists and patriots were patriots? When a handshake was better than any contract? These days I feel like I've been dipped in doo-doo and rolled in breadcrumb. I want to live in a land where a lip turd celebrity doesn't describe earning a good, honest living in the coal industry as the rape of Appalachia. My goal is to get 20% of the youth and minority population to leave the liberals and the Democrats forever. We will not rely on the Scott Brown effect. The Black Sphere team battles every day. Our team of warriors is spreading the message by putting up billboards like this. 386,000 Republicans died to end slavery. 286 Democrats died to preserve it. Vote Republican. Here's another one. When is the last time a white Democrat not running for office visited your black church? Vote Republican. Under Steele, only 23% of non-whites like the Republican Party. That is down 5% from when he became head of the RNC. And I say to you that if Steele can't bring youth and diversity to the Republican Party with your support, I will. I proudly represent you unhyphenated Americans. I fight for you, I fight with you, because I am one of you. Thank you for having me and God bless you all.